going up. Floor two. Doors open. So starting from the entrance, here's our first impression of the room. And I must say, looks really clean and tidy. Very modern. Quick overview there, there's the uh, bathroom cubicle. Let's open the door. Wow, look at that. Nice big mirror, two lights. Lovely sink unit here. Wash basin rather. Yeah, it all looks very modern. The toilet, we've got the shower cubicle, nice and big. So not shower curtains, but actual actual glass doors. Then we've got the foot towel. So in the shower we've got to uh, rock your body. Put your hands up in the air. <laughs> so we've got the shampoo and we've got a body wash, nice. Nice modern uh, shower nozzle. Loads of room, loads of room, great. Okay, here we've got a little partition wall by the toilet. Is it clean? Certainly looks to be so. Yep, nice clean toilet. Got your toilet roll underneath and a bin underneath the uh, wash basin there. Two towels, got two glasses. We've got Another rock your body soap dispenser there. Here's the nice big mirror. Right. So yeah, we've got a little, oh, we've got to mind your step by the way. So there's a bit of a drop here. So yeah, that could be a bit lethal if you were drunk on a night coming out of there. All right, so that's the bathroom. Let's have a look at the rest of the room. Okay, so we've got the, this brown carpets. Got a, could do with a bit of a hoover actually. Looking under the bed there, so a lot of white stains, but let's see what the rest of the room is. Yeah, some bit of stainage on the carpet, but fortunately it's a practical colour. Brown. <laughs> okay, all right, so we've got some bedside lamps. One on either side, there's one over there as well. Nice big double bed. See the other light as well. Yep, so they both work. And by the bed, now this is quite a rarity, got a, a socket right by the bed. So you can actually, for once, charge your phone next to your bed. Okay, and over here, got some more power outlets there by the window. Big thick curtain, we've got a plastic, plastic little comfy chair while well, seating can fit two people cosily there. So here I am sitting down. So you've also got access to this so you could sit and have a coffee in this chair if you wanted. Use this work surface, the desk area. And from here we can see the uh, the window, a square window, which opens a little bit, should do anyway. Yeah, we can open sideways. Can we open the other way? No, it looks like, looks like it only opens one way. Sideways, a little bit of air in. So this is the uh, desk area, which is good work area actually. A nice modern looking plastic chair. Not sure how comfortable it'll be, but it's practical. Right, so I'm just sitting on the chair now, yep. Desk is a nice height when you're sitting on the, on the chair. That's the uh, beautiful view. I'll just close the window because it's a bit noisy. So we're in a bit of a 
industrial area here. So the church over there, there's a few more hotels that way and just a five minute walk that way you've got the whole interchange for the, the train, trains and the buses. So really central. It's actually really well uh, connected. With, when it says uh, Ibis whole city centre, it really is in the city centre. So yeah, if you're going to stay here for, uh, for business, it would be great. And I'm not sure how many people will come to Hull on their holidays, but uh, for business, pretty good destination, this hotel, I'd say. All right, so we've got a TV. Nice big one, which you can watch from bed. Don't know what size that is. It's about 32 inch, maybe, something like that. Let's just switch it on, see if it works. Yeah. All works fine, it starts up faster, must be quite a new TV, I'd say. And underneath, here we've got the tea and coffee making facilities, stirrers, milks, breakfast tea, two, two of those, and four coffees, one caffeinated, two caffeinated, two decaffeinated. Little kettle here, let's see if it's clean. Well, yeah, actually it's immaculate. Well, immaculate on the inside, not so immaculate on this bit. <laughs> right, in the little wardrobe area, we've got two spare pillows, one, two, three, four, five hangers. So not, not loads of hangers, but enough for one person, certainly, or possibly two. Shelves, hair dryer, storage space there. All right, so got another lamp here. You've got an air conditioner. Looks like it's seen better days, but uh, I imagine it'll work. Not gonna need it today though. It's, to be honest, it's quite comfortable room temperature in here. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, Let's check out the bed. Ooh. All right, so first glance, the bedding looks clean, but uh, let's look in more detail. So the pillowcases, this one stain free. Let's have a look at this one. Nothing on there, nothing on there. All right, so, so far so good. Let's take the pillowcases off, shall we? All right, so there's the first pillow. And would you believe it, there are no stains. Let's try pillow number two. No. No obvious stains on that side, and none on this side. So, excellent first impression. All right, so, mattress and the sheets. Let's see, the duvet, very thin duvet, just one. Uh, no sign of any stains whatsoever. Lots of crease marks, freshly ironed. Um, mattress cover, it's just a sheet. Right, so taking back the sheet, we've got a mattress topper here, and then we've got the bare mattress underneath. A very slight sign of a bit of discoloration there, but not an actual stain. So, tell you what, first impressions wise, of all the hotels I've been in so far, this has got the cleanest bed. I mean, we'll check out with the uh, UV light a bit later, but at the moment, I'm pretty impressed with this bed and with the room all around. Excellent first impression. Everything's really modern, clean, tidy, except for, except for the floor, I'd say, but the rest of it, as long as you're not rolling around the floor, you should be okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm already bored and hungry. I think it's time to go into town, get a pasty. Let's go. Going, going. 
12 opening. Another hotel over there, in Gilson, or Gilson. Escape room hall. Just over there, that big building there is the Royal Hotel. And just next to that is the bus and train station. So you can see we're really, really central here. So there we are, straight ahead, the Royal Hotel Hull. To its right, the Paragon Interchange, where you can get the train or the bus around the country. St. Stephen's Shopping Centre, just over there as well, it's a big shopping centre. And here we are at the memorial statue here. to the memory of the men of Hull who lost their lives during the South African War, 1899 to 1902. And here we are. Welcome to the Bronx. Just a closed shop. Right, so it's about 20 past four on a Sunday afternoon, so it's pretty quiet now. Most of the shops are just about closing. Hull Truck Theatre. A phone box here, unusual colour. Is it an actual phone? Yes, it is. Does it work though? Wow, it actually works. I'm a bit worried it might be a bit too late to get a pasty. There's a Greg's just down there. Not keen on Greg's nowadays, they're a bit overpriced. We've got Waterstones, which has a fantastic cafe upstairs where you can read and sit. Nice comfy seats. But that's not what I want. I don't want to read and I don't want a coffee. I want to eat. I need a pasty. So I've got McDonald's over there, but I don't really feel like a McDonald's. Now down this street, this is kind of boarded up Britain Street, even when everything's open. Is Coupland still open, I wonder? Or are they already closed? Oh, they look pretty closed. Damn. I think I should have come out a little bit earlier. Is it worth going down here? Mm. Guess not. It's looking like it might have to be McDonald's this time of day. Yeah, let's do McDonald's. Right, here we go. Tell you what, this triple cheeseburger did not look like that in the picture. Look at the size of that. There's nothing like a nice McDonald's to sort you out. However, that was nothing like a nice McDonald's. I think I'm going to head back to the hotel, check out the bar. Nice beer would go down nicely. Hmm, Macy's. I feel like I'm in New York.
I'm sure it's a bit different in New York. Welcome to Hull. And we have it straight ahead, home sweet home, the Ibis. That's where we just came from, the centre. And you've got the Danish church over there, just in case you want to do some Scandinavian praying. Broken window, bars. Mm, what is this place? It's like a prison cell. Is it the police station or something? Uh, anyone's guess. Would not want to be stuck in there. Oop. Here we are, back at the Hilton. Okay, let's check out the bar. There it goes. Morning guys, it's the next day here in the Ibis Hotel in the city centre of Hull. Uh, let's talk about how my stay was. So, um, as I said before, this is a standard single room. Uh, I'll tell you how much it cost at the end of the video, coming up shortly. Uh, so, how was it? How did I find this little hotel? Right, okay, so let's talk about the, the staff first of all. The staff are really... Yeah, friendly, professional, there's 24 hour service on the front desk. Uh, just come up from breakfast, uh, had a buffet breakfast, uh, which costs £12 if you pay uh, when you're going for breakfast, but if you pay the night before, as I did, you get it for £10, a little discount there. So it's a standard all you can eat buffet breakfast uh, with usual uh, extras like cereals and toasts and fruits and everything. Uh, You've seen the the dining area. It's pretty basic, but it's pretty pretty roomy for for what the hotel is. It was very quiet. Um, eating hours are between for breakfast are between six thirty a.m. and ten a.m. So yeah, got quite a range of times there. Uh, in terms of the quality of the food, unfortunately, I wasn't too impressed. To be honest, I'd give it a a five out of ten. That's it because the uh, I mean the Scrambled eggs were dry and cold already by 7.30 when I went for breakfast. And yeah, I mean, good variety, but the quality, not so good. Uh, the room, this room, as you can see, and as I showed you earlier, I think it's amazing for the price. So I paid £40.92 or thereabouts on a Sunday night. And this is at the end of September. Uh, so I found the price reasonable. The, the bed was immaculate, which is very rare for this kind of price range of hotel. 
the shower, the bathroom was nice and roomy, shower was great. Basically I was, I've been pleasantly, very pleasantly surprised by the, the standard of this room and the bathroom. Uh, the bed, yeah, as you can see behind me, nice and big, nice and roomy, slept okay. The aircon worked as well, so it did get a bit nippy uh, later on last night, so I put that on, took the chill off. Uh, we're in end of September now, so we're starting to feel a change in temperature here in, in Hull. So, would I recommend this hotel? Uh, for the price, for the location, definitely yes. I mean, location-wise, it's a five-minute walk maximum to the Hull Paragon Interchange where you can get the trains, national train service, you can get buses. Uh, it's really close to the attractions of Hull. So the, uh, the city centre, the marina, uh, the deep, so Stephen's Centre, the old town, everything that people normally come to see in Hull is very close, walking distance. Um, I mean, would people come here on holiday? Probably not, but I think this is more ideal for someone coming on a business trip. If you've got a meeting or meetings in Hull or in the Hull area, this would be ideal. It's nice and cheap, it's nice and roomy, it's got a big desk where you can work on. So yeah, for, for business people, I would say it's the ideal hotel within a budget. Okay, right, so rating time. What would I give it out of 10? Uh, as I said, the quality of the food drags it down a bit. I gave the food five out of 10, but I would give the room an eight out of 10. So let's meet it in the middle and call it overall for the price, uh, 40 pounds 92, standard single room. I'll give it a seven out of 10, I think. Yeah, seven out of 10. Okay, what about you guys? Have you ever stayed in this hotel or an Ibis in a different part of the country? If so, let me know in the comments what you thought, if it, how it compared to this, uh, if you agree with my opinion. Uh, okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe for more content such as this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.